If I leave in the morning If I do go away If I do have a life to lead Know what I couldn't stay If I leave in the morning If I'm gone one day Hope I do come back to you Hope one day I stay What's going on Sins family, it's your boy Corrupt of Sins and welcome back to another GTA 5 glitching video. Now before we hop into the video, I just want to start off by saying thank you guys for 2.5k subscribers on YouTube. I really do appreciate it, thank you for pushing me here and thank you for coming by my live streams, I really do appreciate that. Alright, let's kick off this video. This glitch is no different. This glitch is the same glitch as the one I posted a few uh, I think a month back or so. It's, it's just a workaround. There's nothing special to this much. Now, just as before, are you going to need is the MOC for the personal vehicle storage? You're going to need a bunker. You're going to need a CEO. And you're going to need a facility with LGs. The MOC with the personal vehicle storage should already have the car you want to do cake with. Now, without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Now, to start this glitch off, what I recommend is that you spawn in a free aim session and you set your spawn location to your bunker. Now, once you spawn in your bunker, what you want to do is go to the back of your MOC and drive out the car you want to duplicate. Also guys, if you want to sell 942000 or maybe more than $1 million, I do recommend selling a Benny's car or an arena car. Now, once you drive your car out of the back of your MOC, what you want to do is line it up like how I have it, and then once you get out your car, you want to leave your bunker. Now, once you leave your bunker, you want to register as a CEO and call up a buzzer and fly to your facility. Now, once you enter your facility, what you want to do next is head over to your living headquarters. Now, once you get to your living headquarters, what you want to do is go down your friends list and find somebody in a different target mode. Once you find somebody in different targeting mode, you want to accept the first alert and then deny the second. This is how you know that they are in a different targeting mode. Now this is where they patched it, you can't get into the bed and then press pause. What you want to do, you want to press pause and then in that millisecond you want to spam right on the d-pad. Now, once you spam around on the D-pad, what you want to do is go to map, and then you want to go to any job on the map that is blue. Once you do that, you want to start the job, and then you're going to get the alert saying that the job is no longer available, and now you're going to go back into your bed. What you want to do from here, this is where they patch it again. You want to get out of your bed, you want to do the same thing you did before, you want to press pause, spam around the D-pad after you press pause, and then you want to go back to the map, and you want to start up the same job or any other blue job that is on the map. Once you start up that job, you're going to realize you are spawned back into your bed and you have that loading on the bottom right corner of your screen. Now from here, it's not going to tell you you can get out of your bed, but what you want to do is press triangle and head over to one of your elegies. Alright guys, now once you get to your LG, what you want to do is hop in and let the engine start. Once the engine starts, you want to find that friend in a different targeting mode. And then once you find them, you want to press X to join. And then this is, there's no timing in this, don't worry about it at all. Once you get this black alert, you want to hold the R2, you want to hold the gas the entire time you're doing this process. You want to hit X, you want to hit circle, and you want to hit X while still holding the gas. And hold the gas until you spawn outside on foot. Now, once you spawn on foot, what you want to do is go into your CEO and register a buzzard and fly back to your bunker. Now, once you go inside your bunker, you're going to realize that the car that you're trying to duplicate is still in the same spot as you left it. Now, what you want to do from here is just get into your car, wait for about 6 seconds for the license plate to change, and then once you do that, drive this car into the back of your MLC, and voila, you have finally done the glitch, you have now duplicated a car. Warning guys, once you do this glitch, you can't leave your bunker and you can't leave your MLC 
without you know your car so what i recommend is that you go into creative mode and you start up another invite only session and then you do the switch all over again uh thank you guys for watching uh let's get about 10 likes on the video um once again thank you guys for 2.5 and i'll see you guys in the next video peace